Welcome back to the Crypto 618 channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at Cosmic Finance with its dynamic APY, auto staking, auto compounding, best bit not yet launched. But before we get started, if you would like to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Let's get into it. So Cosmic Finance, let's have a quick look at what makes this different. So the first one is a dynamic APY. So if we have a look at the documentation over on Cosmic Finance, we have a look at the in, the overview there, uh, the key differentiators, and this one is the dynamic APY. So a lot of the other projects we've seen, uh, a lot of the forks of Titano have had fixed APYs. Uh, and at some stage they do change those APYs because they're obviously not sustainable for the long term. But, you know, for the first few months, uh, they will then change them to a different APY and somebody can actually vote on them if they've got governance tokens. So that's been so far, but now they're uh, offering this, um, instead of fixed, it's a dynamic APY. So this is really cool. So let's have a quick look at the dynamic APY and what it really stands for. So APY, of course, is for annual percentage yield. Measures the real rate of return on your principal tokens amount by taking into account the effect of compounding interest. In the case of Cosmic Protocol, your tokens represent your principal and the compound interest is added periodically on every rebase event. So traditional practice is the practice of having a fixed APY is not sustainable as the protocol would need more buyers and sellers just to maintain the price. When immense sell pressure is created, late investors may be left with tokens which are steadily decreasing in value. Its fragile fundamentals would not be able to weather any market conditions. Now, Cosmic Solution um, is... Their solution to the flaw in the current auto staking protocol ecosystem is to introduce our own dynamic APY where the APY is not fixed and is fluid. Thus, it fluctuates based upon the buy-sell volume. This is better suited to a complex trading environment where the APY is engineered to benefit the holders. The dynamic APY ultimately reduces unnecessary inflation. So additionally, our dynamic APY is hard-coded in the contract and eliminates any human manipulation. Now, the base APY is at 19,166.27% and the maximum is 265 to 90.02%. So it goes, goes between the base and the max. And how it works is it goes between these two values uh, and there's 500 incremental divisions for the annual compounding. The APY value increases based upon the amount of tokens traded every 10 minutes. And the APY value increases at double rate when there is a sell and would rest to its base APY of 19,166.27% every 10 minutes. So the formula is the dynamic rebase rate equals the buy total plus two times the sell total times that by 100 and divided by the number of tokens in liquidity. So according to the above formula, the rebase increases by one division for every trade of 0.2% of liquidity volume. So for example, in a given 10 minutes time frame, there are a total buy of 100 tokens and a sell of 100 tokens. And suppose liquidity has 1,000 tokens, then the dynamic rebase rate will be uh, come out to 150. So this rebase would increase by 150 divisions, and thus the final APY would be 42,159.80. This rebase rebate will reset when the 10-minute timer hits zero. This way, there is no unnecessary inflation, and inflation is controlled by the buy and sell of the tokens. The range, the dynamic APY, is fluid and would depend on the trading volume on a particular day. But we have limits the, and the upper threshold to the APY. We can therefore estimate the limits of the rewards distributed in one day. Uh, so the Cosmic Finance Daily ROI will vary between 1.4, which is minimum, to 2.1, which is maximum. So this is cool. Haven't seen this in any other project yet. So it'll be interesting how this plays out. So let's have a look at uh, some of the other things why it's different. So QLAAS class, some people say, and this is quantum liquidity as a service. So I haven't put the whole, uh, <laughs> too many words there for it, but it means quantum liquidity as a service. 
Now, I believe that Cosmic Finance has actually applied uh, to another project to provide this quantum liquidity. And uh, you'll have to check out my previous video uh, on the project that I talked about that they're introducing quantum liquidity and they're providing that as a service and it's really, uh, really, really cool stuff. So this is fairly new and they want to bring this into their project. So this will mean uh, basically another revenue source on top of the taxes that exist. The other interesting thing about this is they say that they're no, they're not a fork. So they're no fork of you would think that they were like Titano uh, or, no, or any of those. It could have been forked, but in their documentation they talk about this that they was written from scratch uh, by the developers and also checked um, by a well-known developer. So this is pretty cool. Um, basically, some of the other elements are the same. So they got the dynamic tax, uh, which basically is handles whales. So if you are a whale and you have 1% uh, of the LP, so that your, your one, whatever you're holding, it represents 1% of the LP, you get taxed 5% for every 1%. So in this example, if you are basically trying to sell equivalent to 1% of the liquidity pool, that you'll get charged 5% tax and 2% and vice versa. So this is... Um, this is interesting. This is a slightly different way to do it, but it, it does basically serve the same purpose that essentially if you are a big whale and you go to sell, then it will sell, but the taxes will be applied accordingly uh, to to you. So that is interesting. The trust has all the... Um, it, essentially, that's where all the money goes into the wallet. Uh, this is a multi-sig wallet and governed through the DAO model. So that'll be the trust. The vault is where 5% of all the trading fees are stored uh, and help provide staking rewards for the positive rebase. So the taxing system is simple, 14% on the buy and 16% on the sell. So with the buy side of it, 4% uh, goes to liquidity and 5% goes to the vault 2.5% to the trust and the fire pit which represents uh, burning address as 2.5% and on the sell side slightly more at 16 which is 4% liquidity 5 in the vault 4.5 in the trust and 2.5 in the fire pit also auto staking is simple you just simply buy hold and earn so there's nothing else required to do so it'll be interesting how this project goes so if you want more updates on what's happening in the project, make sure you join the Discord uh, group for Cosmic Finance and they will have the latest information for when they'll be going public with this scene that pre-sale has been completed. So yeah, it is a very interesting project. Uh, said the main things is that it's got the dynamic APY, they'll have the quantum liquidity coming in which will act as another revenue source and it's not a fork of Titano, it's been written from scratch. So if you have any questions about this project, please put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you've liked today's video, please hit the like button and if you would like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. If you would like to support the channel, just come along here and click on support the channel and this will take you to our um, Discord private, private Discord group where you can join. And also, you can come along to our website, which is crypto618.1. And all you need to do is click on subscribe and you can join for free. And we'll send out the latest videos. That's what's happening. So that covers it for today's video. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.